Hey everybody, welcome to Level Grinding the Daily Hustle. I am Rachel Vesterash Bogan, and today I'm taking an unexpected walk through Cheeseman Park. I'm supposed to be meeting my friend, Corey, at a coffee shop called, what was it called? Under the Umbrella Cafe. Unfortunately, it's closed. It's changing locations, and so I'm on my way to another place up the street called Downpour. And I really hope they're open because they don't have a phone number on their website. Note to self, and note to anybody who's starting a business, if you have anything on Google about your business or on your website, please include a phone number. You'll also rank higher in Google ratings, too. Ooh, it is a day to hoof it through Denver. So, I'm on my way to my next bus. I am done with my visit with Corey. We talked about goals for the year, things that I'm thinking about, what's all going on. Oh, and fantastic. My stop is literally right here on Josephine. Fantastic. So, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, now I'm on way to my doctor's appointment. And we shall catch up there. Today's going to be a long day. Oh, another walk through the neighborhood. Right now I'm in, I think this is City Park West. I don't remember. This might be a slightly different neighborhood. Anyway, I am on my way to my next appointment. And I wanted to give you an update in terms of, like, why am I spending so much time at the doctor's right now? Um, <laughs> so, here's the update. And the reason why I've been waiting is because I wanted to actually have something kind of to tell you. Um, for the past few months, I have had a bump in my belly. Nothing super big. Wasn't thinking anything of it. Um, but as of last week, started getting a lot of pain. And so I scheduled an appointment first thing on Tuesday morning. Got to get in to see the doctor. Explained everything that was going on. She referred me for an ultrasound last Friday. And that confirmed her initial suspicion um, that I have what's called a fibroid inside my uterus. Basically, they are benign tumors. Um, they can grow in, in the uterus, on the uterus, inside the uterine walls. Um, and for you guys watching who think this is TMI, deal with it because 75% of women actually have these. And most girls don't even know that they do. The only reason why I do is because mine has gotten so big. Mine's about three inches big. And so it needs to come out. It is starting to interfere with a couple of other things. Hashtag all of my tummy aches that I've been having and other pains. So I'm on my way to go talk to an OBGYN about what my options are. Because there's a few ways to do this. Um, and there's varying levels of intensity, especially in terms of the future. Um, and the future being whether or not I can have a baby in the future. So. We will find out what happens from here, but that is what all of this running around is. Um, and depending upon what the decisions are from here, you may be seeing a lot more of my hospital visits. And before you freak out and, and want to start, you know, feeling bad and everything, please don't. I actually feel really great about this. Quite frankly, it is more of a relief for me to know what is going on with my belly and the fact that it is a fibroid. It might be a tumor, but it is not cancerous. That is also extremely uh, beneficial to know, so I'm really happy about that. And when it comes to the future, about whether or not I may or may not be able to carry a baby in the future, I'm actually okay with that kind of being a little bit nebulous. Um, the desire to birth children has never been there for me, so if something ends up getting limited, that is something I'm okay with. Um, and to tell you the truth, I've actually been referring to this thing as my little alien who lives in my belly, so um, I have a sense of humor about it. You guys can have a sense of humor about it as too. So um, literally, when we found out what it was and you know the fact that it needs to come out, both my husband and I had that image of the clip in Spaceballs where the alien pops out and uh, start singing. So uh, yeah, not everybody has that, um, not everybody has that experience. And I know for some women, this kind of a, uh, this kind of a di diagnosis would be extremely freakifying and terrifying, but for me, it's not. So just that update, I wanted you guys to know what's going on because like I said, you may be seeing a lot of the hospital.
a very different kind of exam room. Oh, I am done. I am done at the doctor's for today. So, yeah, decisions need to get made. That's all right. We'll make some decisions. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to head home and I'm going to grab something to eat because I did not get breakfast this morning. The location I was supposed to meet my friend at um, was supposed to have gluten-free options and it would have except they are changing their actual like place of business and so <laughs> we had to go somewhere else and they did not have breakfast. So I am really hungry right now. The first thing I'm going to do when I get home though is take a look at what's actually on my calendar. Today was my meeting with my friend and my doctor's appointment. Those were the two big things that I had to get done today. And so I'm going to go home and see where I'm at. On the to-do list I know is doing my leads because that is the most important thing that I can do today. That's going to move my business forward. The next thing that I need to work on or I want to work on is probably my wonder work. I haven't done anything on that since... Oh, yeah, probably Monday, and I'd really like to get back to that. Um, but I also need to take a peek at where I am at with the rest of my projects. I know that I need to review that article for Screenlight, um, give it one last look over before I send it off to Chris. So I'll probably end up doing that just to get out of my way, because um, tomorrow I'm going to be gone all morning again, because Creative Mornings is happening. Yay! It feels like it has taken forever, but I'm finally home. Good grief. So I met Robo at Kidoba. We had lunch out. Got to be able to update him on all the things that happened at my doctor's appointment. Long story short, we basically have some decisions to make. Decisions about whether or not we want to have a kid in the future or whether or not we don't want to. So things to decide, things to move forward with. Nothing super critical right now, which I'm really thankful about. Um, it's just stuff that we need to make for the future. So because I did not sleep very well last night, I'm probably going to go take a nap. Um, but in looking at my to-do list for today, I do need to email my leads, I need to get my blog reviewed for Screenlight, and I also want to see what I can do in terms of wonder work. So first thing first, though, is probably going to take a nap because then I will have a functioning brain to go do all this stuff. <laughs>